everyone's doxing, Uniswap thinks people still buy NFTs, and a Gary Vee-backed NFT startup had mass layoffs. My name is MetaMet, and let's get into the Web3 news. Iconic NFT collector G Money revealed his identity. For years, G Money, a top NFT collector, was a major part of the NFT space. But other than this CryptoPunk NFT PFP, no one knew who he really was. Until now. Kind of. He revealed to everyone what he looks like, however, has chosen to keep his name and any information private. He said, The space needs strong and visible leaders, now more than ever. Many other NFT Twitter influencers have doxxed themselves recently, including Frank, the founder of The Gods and Youth NFTs, which started a dox with Frank movement where holders of his NFT also doxed themselves. Good morning, D Gods. Nice to be doxxed. Hmm, wonder what I should do today. Maybe feed the fucking pigs. Let's fucking go, guys. Mark Meta teased a Shillin Villain doxing, but the best we got was a new PFP of a mutant ape, which Shillin Villain diehards are now saying is the reason that Elon Musk responded to him on Twitter. Then there are those like Alan Reyes and other NFT TikTok influencers who have been doxed since day one. I personally am clearly doxed and think that it gives holders and followers a more personable and trusting connection. However, I understand why people would not want to be doxed due to security reasons. I just personally wouldn't invest my money into someone who doesn't have an actual face other than a JPEG of an animal. What do you think of the doxing movement in Web3? Meanwhile, Candy Digital, which was founded in in June 2021 by Gary Vee and two others had mass layoffs. Candy Digital is a sports and entertainment NFT startup that had a $1.5 billion valuation during the NFT bull market. But now with the layoffs, employees are taking to Twitter looking for jobs or ex-employees. I wonder if V Friends is hiring. I personally think Gary Vee is a great human with a brilliant mind and wouldn't go through these layoffs unless it was absolutely necessary, which says something about the intensity of this bear market. Regardless, I'm bullish on Gary Vee and V Friends and plan on purchasing one as soon as they find an affordable one that I like off the Floor. Are you bullish on Gary Vee even after these layoffs? NFT sales and volume are at an all-time low, yet Uniswap wants in on the action, as they announced that NFT trading is now available on Uniswap. Although NFT volume is at an all-time low, the Web3 space is still alive as ever. Whether it's live events as is Art Basel, Shillin Villain Drama, or the countless NFT influencers out there making a name for themselves, the phrase, bear markets are for builders, is in full force in the Web3 space. Do you agree? Let me know in the comments. I hope to see you next video, but until then, as always, I hope that you all make some bread.